Hello friends, welcome to an educational video in the field of industrial electricity. In this video, we want to we completely wire and assemble a three-phase electrical panel. This electrical panel includes several single-phase outputs, for each of which we used a single-phase miniature circuit breaker. Additionally, to switch the main power on and off, we use a 32-amp three-phase contactor which can be controlled using this switch installed on the door of the electrical panel. Also, to protect the single-phase outputs against voltage increase or decrease, we use a three-phase monitoring relay, also known as a phase control relay. In this section below, you can see the input and output terminals. These four terminals are for the three-phase power input and neutral to the electrical panel, meaning the main power, which is the city power, is connected to these four terminals and exits, from them to connect to the contactor input. These three pairs of terminals, you see, are single-phase outputs that connect to this single-phase miniature switch and these are also two single phase outputs that share a common neutral and connect to this miniature switch. Additionally, this electrical panel includes a socket on its body, which we can use to extract single phase power in emergency situations. And it connects to this 25 amp miniature switch. All right. Now, let's proceed with the wiring step by step. Please pay attention to the wiring steps, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. First, it is necessary to connect the three phases from the main terminal inputs to the contactor input. For the contactor input, it doesn't matter whether you choose the top or the bottom, but the standard is to have the input at the top. We carefully and meticulously strip the wires one by one. But before we start the wiring, let me explain about these four terminals. These four terminals are for when you want to directly take the power out from the electrical panel. This means you have one section for the power input and one section for the power output. Therefore, the input wire is connected to this section and the output wire is connected to this section and it is actually connected for the rest of the electrical panels and other consumers. Therefore, when we want to connect the three phase from the input to this electrical panel, we also connect three direct wires from this input to the direct power output terminal. For this purpose, we use a number six wire and a number four wire. The number four wire is for the input power of the electrical panel, and the number six wire is for the direct output power of the electrical panel. We crimp these directly with a double wire shoe. Like this. And we make three more pairs in the same way. Well, this pair of wires is for the first phase. As we mentioned, the number six wire is connected to the direct output terminals. And the number four wire is directly connected to the input of the contactor.
Make sure that these terminal screws are tightened very well and extremely securely to prevent voltage drop and fire. And this is extremely important for the final phase. At this stage, we connect the phase wire from the contactor output to the input of these metering switches. That is the first phase to the input of the first miniature switch, the second phase to the input of the second miniature switch, and so on. By doing this when the contactor is connected, the miniature switches will be powered. Well, to complete the control circuit, we need to connect the three-phase input to the input of the phase control relay. The three-phase input on the control relay is labeled as R, S, A, and T. Therefore, we connect the three phases to R, S, T with a number one wire. The initial stage, known as the first phase, involves laying the groundwork and setting the foundation for the project. This includes planning, resource allocation, and establishing objectives. Following this, the second phase builds upon the initial efforts by implementing the strategies and plans developed earlier. This phase focuses on execution, monitoring progress, and making necessary adjustments to ensure the project's success. and this is for the third phase. And as you can see, we have taken an output or a branch from the third phase. We connect these branches to the input of the phase control relay which is labeled with the number 15. By doing this when the three phases Enter the phase controller and if the voltage is appropriate, relay 15 will connect to number 18 and we can use 18 to connect the contactor. Any error or fluctuation in voltage in the network will cause the relay to disconnect and the contactor will also disconnect. Now we connect the phase wire from the output of the miniature switches to the single phase output terminals, which are marked in green. We know that all single phase outputs require a neutral wire. These blue terminals are installed for 
the neutral outputs. Therefore, we connect the main neutral input to, to all these neutral outputs in common. I have prepared this wire in advance and it's enough to just connect it to all the blue terminals. Well, for the contactor to switch on and off, the coil power, which is installed at the top, must be connected to the KL phase control relay at 18. However, for manual switching on and off, we have installed a switch on the door of the electrical panel. Therefore, we connect the output of the phase control relay, labeled 18, to the input of this switch and from the output of this switch to the contactor coil. As you can see, the input of this switch is connected to the relay output and its output is connected to the contactor coil. On the other hand, we know that the contactor coil and the phase control relay both require a neutral wire Therefore, we connect the neutral wire numbered 1 from the main neutral terminal to these two. The wiring of this electrical panel is complete. Now I will explain once more how this electrical panel operates. First, the three-phase power is connected from the main input terminals to the input of the contactor using these three phase wires that we have connected to the phase control relay if the voltage is appropriate. The section from 15 to 18 is connected and also if the switch on the door of the electrical panel is activated the contactor is activated and the three phase power is connected to the input of the miniature switches. These miniature switches protect our circuit against short circuits and if they are activated, the power is connected to the output terminals and we can connect them to the consumers. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section. Good luck.